Welcome to Thack Ironworks. How are you doing? Today we're going to talk about tongs. We're going to start um, the basic forging process for tongs and show you the basic three notch configuration for all, how all the tongs are made. Um, so you can see I've got three different styles of tongs here. These are ring tongs, these are b-bit tongs, also called bolt tongs, and these are called box jaws, box jaw tongs or blade tongs or uh, popularly known as. Uh, and all three of these styles start out with the same configuration. So I'm going to demonstrate that now because uh, mastering that um, configuration allows you to do all sorts of tongs and a lot of blacksmiths really struggle with being able to make uh, good quality tongs. Let's get started. first step is to do, you start on the inside edge of the anvil and I put about an inch on and I'm hitting with the hammer half on and half off. This is very important. The hammer is half on here and half off the anvil here. And that technique gives you the control to be able to make very uh, crisp notches. So that is notch number one. I've taken it down about half the thickness here and I've made a notch and you can see it's drawn out as it's as um, we've been hammering it out here so it, it increases in length. Uh, so that is notch number one. Okay, so the first notch started in here, second notch we go to the outside edge of the anvil and I do a quarter turn counterclockwise and right where that first notch ended, I've got that positioned over the edge of the anvil here and I'm hitting with the hammer half on, half off and the hammer face parallel to the anvil face, very important, and I'm trying to bring this down to half the thickness of this original 5 8 bar here. So bringing it down to 5 16 And I'm letting this spread as wide this way as it can. Just even things out here a bit. So that is notch number two. So we started out notch number one and a quarter turn counterclockwise to create notch number two. This will become the actual eye or the pivot point of the tongs. Um, I'm making right-handed tongs right now because I'm right-handed. Um, right-handed tongs are actually designed to fit in the left hand. That was the way the terminology went. Um, and if you are a lefty and you want to make your tongs, you're going to have to do the opposite roll here to get the right configuration. So. Uh, when you're doing right-handed tongs, or if you're right-handed, your tongs should be going a quarter turn counterclockwise. That is very important.
Okay, so now we're going to go on to notch number three. Notch number one started here. Notch number two was a quarter turn counterclockwise on here. Notch number three is another quarter turn counterclockwise, and I'm moving out about three quarter of an inch from the first and second notch, hitting half on, half off. And I want to bring this width to about halfway to make that third notch. Now when I've got the notch in here, I want to thin it out in this direction here. It's too fat. I'm going to bring that down. So there we have all three notches. I'm just going to finish off my other pair, other piece. One, two, three. So now what I've done is forge two identical pieces, more or less. Now, when I mate them together, that will then become a working pair of tongs. So there is the three notch configuration. That's really the crux of what you need to accomplish to make any pair of tongs. So at this point now, I'm gonna heat up back here and draw out the reins, and I'm gonna do that on my power hammer because I have one. If you don't, well, then it sucks to be you because that is a really long and arduous process. But on the power hammer, very quick. So I will just do that and then we'll take a look.
uh, pieces ready to go on to the next step. Um, the next step being actual assembly. Um, also, we may do something to the, the jaws here to make them into a special to be a pair of dogs. But we will do that in a future video. I uh, just want to talk a little bit about the reins here. The reins, uh, much like horse reins, are the handles for the tongs. And the ideal cross section for them should be rectangular near the jaws so they have um, structure with the width of the rectangle, the wider part being in this orientation. And as it goes back into the actual handle proper where your hand is, um, tapering from this rectangle into essentially a round shape. And that just makes for comfort in the hand, but structure and rigidity where you need it there. So that is the basic forging of the tongs. So as I said in our next video, we will cover uh, specialty jaw configurations and uh, the assembly, the final assembly of the tongs, getting them working in a proper fashion. So thanks. See ya!